What is going on guys? My name is Hussein and in this video I want to talk about something that is not really back in engineering kinda right it's a sector of engineering and it's called machine learning and the reason I'm talking about that today is like by no, by no means I'm not an expert this is a very new field to me I'm just tasting this thing I'm reading about it but the reason I'm talking about this today is an email I received from Metro Express Lane and uh, this is a service that we have at least here in California it's called the high occupancy vehicles like the HOV lane right and this is the carpool lane where you can go to this lane and drive on this lane as long as you are two people or more not one person and a dog or one person and a cat has to be two people and for the longest time there was no automated way of enforcing this right you just you can drive and take the risk, right? And getting a fine four hundred dollars, right? And you, the only way you'll get fined is if a highway patrol will be driving by and they looked uh, across and say that they saw you just by yourself with your fridge, right? And and yeah, that you picked up from Costco, right? So uh, there's no way to enforce it, right? So until today. There, in June 1st, 2020, Metro Express Lane, which is the company that runs the whole thing, right? At least one part of it. They are enforcing this using an occupancy detection system. Did I read that right? Yes, occupancy detection system. So, they're going to point their cameras now. They're going to install cameras on their lanes. And yeah, you might say, Hussein, privacy, privacy. They are addressing this. Somehow they're going to say, oh, we're not really storing the picture. We're storing data about the picture. I don't know if you can trust them or not. Right? You can just take their word, for your, their word for it. But they are now taking picture of that and they're starting enforcing this thing. right? And you might say, how does that camera or knows that this is a person of uh, this is a picture of a person versus this is a picture of a cat versus uh, how many heads are there in the in, in, in the car right how does it know it's a computer right that's where machine learning comes into the picture and that's what i wanted to talk about today right so they are installing this and it gives me an opportunity to discuss this topic with you guys right if you know about machine learning you don't have to watch this video but I just want to talk about it real loud about about i want to talk about uh, the ways you build this models and what is a model really and uh, what is supervised learning and unsupervised learning and all that jazz so if you're interested just keep watching this video and thank you so much because it supports the channel all right so when you show a picture of a person to a five-year-old she or he can tell you exactly that this is a picture of a person and even accuracy tells you like oh this is a girl or a boy or a man or a woman or a middle-aged man or a middle-aged woman or old man it can tell she can tell you or he can tell you with accuracy in a split of a second however computers don't have this cognitive ability apparently and you know that's right right because there is some magic that we have that computers and people start figuring out right so w computers are logical processing machines if i give me a picture i have to process it and how do i process it i go from left to right or bottom but bottom, bottom i go these process pixels and i if the pixel this is darker and this is like a little bit lighter and I, I see a pattern in this picture. That's telling me this is, oh, there's like a little bit of dark hair here. Sometimes some people have like a little bit of uh, uh, lighter color hair. Uh, this is like a little bit of an eye socket. There's like, and they start scanning this and after a while they can tell you, oh, this is a picture of a person. But how does a computer know that this is a person or not? What you do is you show the computer at 1,000 pictures, 10,000, 1 million, 10 million pictures of what persons, what people look like. And with each picture that the computer feeds, they will start building a model. And that model will get adjusted. It's like almost like a function, like a x to the square plus x cubed minus. It will be a complex function that results in a result that tells you okay I'm, I'm i'm adjusting my function with each input 
until it gets like a hundred million pictures and will will give you a, uh, this will give you a model right and now if you show that computer a new picture of a new person and you tell us is this a person or not it will start executing that input against its function and will tell you that oh that is a person or oh no that is not a person. If you watch the Silicon Valley episode, hot dog, no hot dog. <laughs> that was also, that's so funny. It's the same kind of concept, right? So yeah, that's basically what is called supervised learning. You essentially feed the machine a lot of input and it builds some sort of a model and that model will get tested. And will it be perfect? Absolutely not. It will give you 98% accuracy. Now you might say, Hussein, how? Why do you have a pic- 100 million pictures of people, right? It's like, uh, do you have them somewhere stored, right? You need to tell the computer that this is a picture of a pe- person, this is a person, this is a person, this is a person, right? Where's this information coming from? Do you, did you sit down and literally took pictures of people and you literally labeled them? Really, some people do that. And this process is called labeling. And people are making buck loads of money selling labeled data. That's called labeled data. That means it's literally tons of thousands or even if not even millions of data sets labeled. It tells you that, oh, this is a picture of a cat. This is a picture of a cat. This is a picture of a dog. This is a picture of a people. Person. This is a person of a person. This is a person of an Asian person. This is a person of a Middle Eastern picture person. Yeah, they um, will not be surprised if there is like a model that identify Middle Easterns versus Asian versus uh, Indian. I will not be surprised, right? That will definitely, those, those models exist. But those labeling, right? Do you know where are they coming from? Do you remember those captchas that you solve, guys? Oh, select all pictures of bridges, right, before you sign in, because we want to know if you're a robot or not. Oh, select all pictures of a ca- cat, so we know we're, if, you're a, if, you're a, if you're a robot or not. They don't care if you're a robot or not. They're using that as labeling. Yeah, they're using you to label their data so they can sell this information. I don't know if this is legal or not, guys, because this really disgusts me. <laughs> Every time I solve one of those, it's like, oh, God, I'm just training data. I'm just labeling data for, for free. I mean, you can argue that, oh, well, use, you're using that service for free, and maybe that's a price to pay. But at least people, people need to be real open about that. I hate that shit. But, yeah, so you're labeling. Sometimes you are helping people uh, companies label their data because they don't know they're going to show you four pictures and probably they know one of them right but they sh- they show you three that they don't know and you're going to select all the cars and then they're going to start comparing obviously right they're not going to trust you obviously blindly but if they if enough people said that this is a picture of a cat or a car or a bridge then they will start obviously uh storing this data and 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 and, and label that and they start selling this data because the label data are very critical to supervise learning okay but that's the supervised learning that's how machine learning works in a nutshell obviously guys correct me if i said anything dumb or stupid or not correct because i'm not an expert in this but that's what i said or guys uh, please 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 let me know what did i miss guys and this uh, so back to this hov express lane thing that they are implementing guys and i'm gonna reference the article below guys if you're interested but probably metro express lane didn't train or supervise their own uh model or build their own model because they 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 all need to spend a lot of money just uh, labeling data and or buying label data and training their model and having huge machines just training so that's a lot of yeah a lot of people use tensorflow for this for example that that's what i heard uh, applications about but yeah so they probably purchased an existing model that de- detects people and they're only interested in heads to be honest i don't think they will i don't know if there's like a model that identify human heads versus dog heads i don't know there's like bodies because most of the time you'll be you'll be in the car and your head will show and that's that's enough 
I guess, right? And yeah, it's a, it's a complex, complex field. And I don't know how I feel about machine learning, to be honest. I'm, I, I don't know anything about this field, to be honest. So I'll... Uh, I'll just taste and see if I like it. Maybe I'll make a few videos more about it, guys. But I know, those are they. That's all I know. Uh, it's a it's a very interesting article that I thought I'm gonna make a video about, guys. If you're interested, give a like of this video, share with your friends, and let me know what did I miss. Let me know what you know because I this way we all learn together and be better. All right, guys. I'm gonna see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.